All right, everyone, welcome back to Savage Squirrel's Last Quarter. I'm Scott the Savage Squirrel, and this is the show where I'm at the arcade, I'm down to my last quarter, so it's time to pick a final game to play and make it count. Back in 1992, my friends and I used to hang out at a 7-Eleven in Streamwood, Illinois. The 7-Eleven had multiple arcade machines. It had a Street Fighter II, Street Fighter II Champion Edition, a Neo Geo MBS, and uh, Mortal Kombat. And this was the first time I was introduced to fighting games. Now, one of the uh, one of the employees that worked there, this guy Phil, was the first real human opponent I ever had playing Street Fighter. I remember playing against him in the arcade, and his friends, because he didn't know how to play the game, his friends would, would tell him, oh, don't worry about this guy. This guy's an RBH. This guy's an RBH. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, what the fuck is an RBH? Well, later on, after I got my ass kicked, Phil told me RBH is a random button hitter. Because at the time, I had no idea what any of the moves were. I do nothing. I was so used to playing beat-em-up games that I thought this was the same thing, just with two players. But anyway, to make a long story short, Phil, who was also an employee at the 7-Eleven at the time, took me in as like his apprentice, and he showed me everything that I needed to know about Street Fighter 2. And that's when the fighting game phase of my life began. So all right, I'm at the 7-Eleven with my friends. We called it the 7 because this was not an ordinary 7-Eleven. This is this was our hangout. When I mean our hangout, we were hanging out at the convenience store way before the Clerks movies made it cool. So, okay, down to my last quarter. I have a big gulp. I just got done eating uh, the hot dog or whatever it is, smoking cigarettes, and I'm, I'm ready to play. Some old-fashioned, bare-bones Street Fighter 2. All right, let's see how I can do with one quarter. Let's see if I can figure out how to... Hit the button. There we go. Now some of the Street Fighter arcade cabinets, when you play one player, they're difficult as fuck. But this one, the original, um, I didn't have too many uh, problems with it at the time. I was able to beat the game on the one player mode, no problem. But like all the other editions were a lot harder. Especially Super Street Fighter, that thing was a pain in the ass. But I think what it is, is because this game is slower, than the other Street Fighters, you actually have a time to react to your opponent's moves. So that's why I think this one, this one and Champion Edition were the two that I played, like, that was really good at. And then the Alpha, Alpha 1 and 2 I really liked. But Super Street Fighter, it was great, it was just too goddamn fucking hard in the one player mode. So it wasn't really that fun. But the first the first fighter I chose when I played this for the first time was Chun Li. And all I did was that damn kick of hers. Not the helicopter one, but the multiple Damn it. You know what I'm talking about. I can't remember what it's called.
Damn. Back when this game came out, it was like a goddamn Street Fighter cult. There was like rules, like you couldn't throw. Uh, throwing was considered being cheap. Um, they had all kinds of terminologies um, for the game. Like if you were to throw someone, you had to let them throw you back because there was no way to counter a throw. And we had people that, that would come in and just, they didn't know what they were doing and we get pissed off, they throw. Nowadays, with the recent Street Fighter games, now that you can counter throws, it's no longer a big deal. See, with this controller, it's not good for fighting games, but this one, it's not that bad because It's not as bad because the game's slower, so you can input the moves easily. But some of the faster games, you really need an arcade stick to play this game. That's just the bottom line. Damn. Plus, it doesn't help to play this game with fingerless gloves. I should probably not wear them. But that's part of the costume, what can I say? I'm not doing too bad for one quarter. It's not like those uh, Neo Geo fighting games are a fucking pain in the ass. They're all hard as fuck. Especially Fatal Fury 2, that was... I remember playing that one at the 7, and that one was fucking... I could not beat the first guy on the one-player mode. I could play against other players, but I couldn't play it against a computer. Fuck that. Like, all the Neo Geo games were fucking tough. Really? It took that long? They wouldn't let. It, usually in the other games, I think you could hammer kick the thing the whole time, but it didn't let me do it this time. I had to do the spin kick. Maybe it's just this version. But oh man, I remember when we got the home version. We bought the Japanese version of the game. Played the death out of that one. Honestly, the, the Street Fighter games, even the old ones, still hold up in my opinion. They're still the best of play. They're timeless classics. I, I will never get sick of this game. Ken might actually kick my ass though. Oh, we're doing this? time with. Especially in the second round, he usually comes back. Yeah, he's, he's pissed. He, he's, he's not happy. Nice! 
Awesome. I'm doing pretty good. And I thought this video wasn't going to last very long. Going to the seven at like fucking three in the morning just to play this game, just to practice. Oh, this guy might kick my ass. Holy shit, he is. Uh oh. What a comeback. I heard they changed the background for this stage in uh, certain versions of it. I don't know why. I'm not sure what the deal is. They got rid of the rising sun. Come on. Ah, got me. Knock him out? No. Fuck. I'll probably lose against Vega if I get that far because he's usually a pain in the ass. In this version, I don't know. He's a little slower in this version. Got me. That was close. I thought for sure he'd win, but that's okay. Still one more round. Got me this time. Yeah, he got me. <laughs> That's all right. I lasted longer than I thought I would in one quarter. Well, there you have it. That was my last quarter. So now it's time to roam around the 7 Eleven, maybe get another big gulp, and maybe get some. Uh, gaming advice from some of the other Street Fighter fans in the, uh, in the store. But that's how it was back in the 90s. I miss those days. Now, 7-Elevens are just, they're just boring now. I mean, yeah, I still get my coffee and my big gulp, but I kind of miss the, the idea of going in there and playing the video game while drinking my big gold. You know, kill some time. But, well, there you have it, folks. If you
you new, please like or subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks, thank you everyone who have supported me. I, I know I don't have like, you know, a shit ton of subscribers, but I don't care. I just do this for fun for now. Whatever happens, happens. So, well, that was fun. So, all right. This is Savage Squirrel signing out. See you next time.